how to use all commands arc survival evolved to get started pause your game and then you're going to press l1 r1 square and triangle all at once to pull up your admin command bar to change the time in game enter the command set time of day all one word and then a time this is a 24 hour clock which means 24 is midnight as you can see it's the end of the night 12 is of course noon and you can see 6 is 6 a.m 10 is 10 a.m you'll never have to play arc in the dark again to change your hair length enter the command set head hair percent all one word and a number between zero and one. Zero is of course bald and one is fully grown hair. Guess what guys, no scissors needed. To change your beard length, enter the command set facial hair percent. All one word and then of course a number between zero and one. Zero is clean shaved and one is a full beard. Super easy. To change your hairstyle, enter the command set head hair style. All one word, and then a number between zero and seven. Zero is no style. One through seven are different hairstyles like afros, braids, or the romantic long hair like this. To change your facial hairstyle, enter the command set facial hair style all one word, and then a number between zero and seven. Zero is no style. One through seven are styles like the mustache, the goatee, and of course, the mutton chops, which look like this. To change the maturation of baby dinos, enter the command set baby age, all one word, and then a number between zero and one. Point 0.5 is 50% mature, one is fully grown. Or you can even go backwards from fully grown down as well. No more waiting for dinos to grow up on their own. One command to do it all. To change the imprint percent on your dinos, enter the command set imprint quality. All one word. And then any number greater than zero. One is 100% imprint like this changes the stats, you can see the boost. However, you can use a larger number than one. For example, 100 will give your dino a huge imprint stat boost like this. Automatic, easy, instant imprints. To change your dino's colors, enter the command set target dino color. All one word, and then a number between zero and five which is going to be our color region. And then a second number between one and basically 200 for a random color. As you can see, we start off with the main body. The giga is region zero is the body. Region four are the legs and region five is the belly. We're gonna keep adding colors and changing colors. And you know what? Wow, that's actually a really cool looking colorful giga. To spawn in colors, enter the command give colors, followed by any number. 10, for example, will give me 10 of each color die. 100 will give me 100 of each color die. To spawn in resources, enter the command give resources. Just like that, guys, that's all you need. And it's actually going to automatically fill your inventory with 50 of each important resource that you're going to need starting out in ARC. A little bit heavy, but super convenient. To spawn in armor, enter the command, give armor set. All one word. And then a number between 0 through 3. Or a name of an armor like fur or riot that doesn't fall in the zero through three category. Then you're going to enter a second number between zero and 20. And this is going to determine the quality. Zero being primitive gear, like this riot gear is just basic primitive riot gear. Or we can switch that zero to a 20 for a set of ascendant 
Riot gear, just like this. Automatically puts it on. And then we could also just go back to Flak by switching this up to Armor Set 220. And this gives us Ascendant Flak. It even gives us a shield. And now we're ready to survive the arc. To spawn in weapons, enter the command, give weapon set. All one word, and then a number between 0 and 3. Followed by a second number between 0 and 20. Again, 0 being primitive, 20 being ascendant. The first set, guys, 0 is going to be the bow, the pike, some spears, and some arrows. The second set has an assault rifle, a long neck rifle, a sword. Our third set has a compound bow and a sniper rifle, as well as some more ammo. And then finally, the fourth set has our tech weapons with a bunch of element. To spawn in health items, enter the command give item set. And then a number between zero and three. Or the words food, water, or bruise. All of these work to give you guys a full inventory of items that you can use to heal yourself. Items like cooked food, jerkies, waters, soups, chilies, stews, and of course, medical brews. To spawn in random items, enter the command give item num. And then you're going to use a random number for the item ID. Your second number is going to be the quantity and then followed by 00. zero. For example, 50 Three zero zero is three pieces of fertilizer. Or 117 30 zero zero is 30 azelberries. Most resources and items have item numbers for spawning, but not all of them. Make sure to look it up ahead of time. To spawn in items without a number ID, enter the command GFI. And then you're going to choose the name of the item you'd like to spawn in. For example, element or gasoline is very easy and convenient to spawn in this way. You'll type it in, and then you're just going to add a number, which is going to represent the quantity, followed by zero and then another zero, especially if it's a resource. Now, if we're spawning in a weapon, like, for example, the pump shotgun, we're going to type in machine shot, and then we're going to follow that up with a one for the quantity. We're going to do another one for the quality. And then lastly, a zero for the item. So this gives us one primitive pump action shotgun. Or we could do 10, 10, zero, which is going to give us 10 ascendant shotguns. Finally, guys, we can change the last number. Instead of a 0, we can change it to a 1 in the command. And this is actually going to change it from the item you're spawning in into the blueprint for that item. So, for example, guys, 1 rec saddle, 1 10 0 for an ascendant saddle, or 1 10 1 for an ascendant saddle blueprint. To spawn in explorer notes, enter the command give all explorer notes. All one word or unlock all explorer notes. Also all one word. Basically, guys, it will probably crash your game the first couple times, full disclosure. But after a couple tries, you will see the message pop up that you have unlocked all of the Explorer notes, along with the combined 733,000 plus seconds of XP boost from discovering all of these notes at once. Now that's what I call a note run. To automatically tame any dino, enter the command Force Tame. You will see the dino name turn from yellow to green, meaning that it is yours and it's tamed. And it will be rideable without a saddle. As a bonus, you can see this also works with flyers as well. To automatically tame groups of dinos, enter the command force tame AOE. Just like this, guys, followed by a number larger than 5,000. 
which of course represents the radius that's going to be tamed around you. You can see all of these wild dinos that were wild in front of me are now tamed and rideable. Rexes, Ankies, woolly rhinos, whatever you guys want. To destroy a dino or boss, enter the command kill. You will automatically destroy any dino you are looking at. This works on both tamed and wild dinos. To instantly level up your character or dino, enter the command add experience. All one word, and then the number of XP you want to add. For example, 100,000. Followed by a 1 and then a 0 for your dino, or just followed by 0, 0 for your character. As you can see, we now have... 88 levels to put into our Rex. To instantly heal your dinos, enter the command refill stats, which as you can see, it heals up our Rex back to full health instantly. However, if we add more levels, he's going to need to be healed again. And we can use the command infinite stats to keep him healed, pretty much like a dino god mode. To get a random fertilized egg, Walk up to a dino and enter the command get egg, followed by a number, which is going to represent the number of mutations that you want that egg to have. This works on both tamed and wild dinos. And when you look at these eggs in the incubator, you can see they are all fully mutated, 20 mutations on the male and the female, and they're full of different colors. This command is epic. To hatch eggs automatically, enter the command hatch egg while making sure to look at an egg. The hitbox is kind of small, but if it works, it will instantly hatch the egg no matter what the conditions are. No more waiting on eggs. To wake up your dinos from cryo sleep, enter the command clear cryo sickness. All one word just like that. Make sure to look directly at your dino when you use the command, and it will jump up, ready to go. To slow down or speed up time, enter the command slow-mo, and then a number between 0 and 10,000. Numbers less than 1 slow down time in your world. This includes you. 1 is setting it back to normal. Numbers greater than 1 speed up time. To manually save your game, Enter the command, save world. All one word, just like that. To become invisible, enter the command, enemy invisible, and then a one. You can see the Dinopithecus can't see me anymore. If we change that one to a zero, we'll go back to being visible. The ants literally just stop in place when you go invisible. That's so funny. I didn't even expect that to happen. That's hilarious. To freeze dinos in place, enter the command players only. This will stop all dinos from moving or flying. Press players only again to start the moving again. To create new dino spawns, enter the command destroy wild dinos. All one word just like this, and this will wipe all current wild dinos on your map. You'll see new dinos within a couple minutes. To level up your chibi, enter the command add chibi exp. And then a number for the amount of XP you'd like to add. Instant max level chibis. To level up to tech instantly, enter the command envqa. This automatically unlocks the tech suit engrams, gives you a tech suit, and 40 element to use with your brand new tech suit. To turn on spectator mode, enter the command enable spectator. This essentially kills your character and enters a cinematic camera mode. You can observe the map but cannot interact with it. Enter disable spectator to stop, which means your character will have to spawn back in again. For god mode, enter the command GCM, which stands for Give Creative Mode, which is exactly the mode we are now in. You guys have unlimited weight and can craft any item in your inventory. 
It unlocks all of your Ingrams automatically, and you can fly. Best of all, you're absolutely invincible, even with turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, your admin gun teleports, analyzes dinos, and destroys anything that gets in your way. Now, you also have the option of another command, the GM buff, which actually gives you a god buff, which is basically infinite stats with invisibility and XP. The choice is yours. For ghost mode, enter the command ghost. You will be able to move through walls and go under the map. You will have to enter creative mode to get out of it, just keep that in mind, otherwise you'll just fall endlessly through the map. The first way to summon tamed dinos is to enter the command GM summon. And then you're going to enter the dino ID with an underscore character underscore BP underscore C. And then you're going to close the quotes and you're going to put your level. Now, each dino has a unique ID. And this method will give you a dino with the levels added from a perfect tame. As you can see, I entered a level 150, and it came out as a level 225 with the extra 75 levels. Now, the second way to summon dinos is to enter the command SDF. And then we're going to enter the dino name, and then a number one followed by the level that you want your dino to come out and then a zero. And this is gonna summon in a tamed dino that you guys can actually ride without a saddle, similar to the force tame command. Now, what's really great about this command is if you change the one to a zero, so it would be the dino name zero level zero, this will summon a wild dino instead. To summon in loot, enter the command summon supply crate, underscore, and then the loot drop ID you guys are looking for. Each map has different IDs for their cave loot drops, regular drops, and underwater drops. So make sure to look that up first. To spawn unlimited hexagons, enter the command add hexagons, and then the amount you want to add to your wallet. Now you can buy unlimited tier 3 loot crates. To ascend, enter the command player command, all one word, and then the corresponding ascension ID. For example, I typed in ascend 3, which is the alpha ascension on the island. You can see the game automatically end, and when I respawn, my implant says that I have now ascended past the alpha Overseer. Each map has a different ID, like Genesend for Genesis 1 or Abascend for Aberration. I have another video that goes over it a little bit more in detail. If you have any more questions, let me know. To instantly defeat the bosses, enter the command Cheat Defeat All Bosses 0. This will instantly defeat the bosses on all of the maps and unlock almost all of the tech engrams in the game. To spawn in groups of dinos, enter the command give dino set, and then the set ID followed by the number of dinos you want to spawn. For example, 0, 10 to spawn in 10 of the first set of dinos. 110, 210, 310, Flyers 10, Argent 10, Extinction 10, and finally, Mech 10. These all spawned in 10 named and fully saddled dinos ready for a boss fight. Lastly, when you need to skip an arc mission, enter the command Force Complete Active Mission all one word, and then zero. You will automatically get the win in the quickest time imaginable, and you get all of the hexagons and loot that goes along with it. This is, in my opinion, the only way to do these missions. 
I hope this helps. Have fun.